Yankee fans should be excited. That is the words out of the mouth of MLB insider Jeff Passan when it comes to Juan Soto being traded to the New York Yankees. So let's go ahead and cut to what was said. I think the Yankees have a really good chance at getting Juan Soto. Before that, also, he said the Yankee fans should be very, very excited with that prospect. And the reason he is saying that is because as of right now, there's a few teams available. I know the Mariners are one, but they're not too willing to. Apparently, what we know as of right now, not willing to trade some of their top pitching that they have, Bryce Miller, guys of that nature. And the New York Yankees, the one thing they do have is close to and MLB-ready starting pitchers that will be controllable for years to come. And that is the rumor of what the San Diego Padres want. As you guys know, this is going to be the topic of conversation until Juan Soto is traded or the Padres simply come out and go, hey, look, guys, he's not being moved. That's it. Enough said. No more conversation here. It's going to be talked about daily. There's going to be rumors every single day. One of the elite young talents in Major League Baseball would definitely be a major impact to whatever team he joins. And just the idea of a Soto judge back-to-back in the Yankees lineup is reason enough to believe and have a little bit of hope on what 2024 can be. And the, the, you know, the, uh, the, the pathway is set for the New York Yankees. I said this months ago. A month and a half ago or so, while I'm calling postseason games uh, towards the end of the season, Yamamoto, Soto, make trades. Donovan, whoever it is, go out there and make additional trades. Add to your club. If you got to take on a Krona worth for Soto, you do it. But to get back to Jeff Passan for a second, I just want to bring this up because one thing I do remember, maybe some of you remember this, Jeff Passan was the first guy I believe in 2022, telling people there's an 80% chance Soto is going to be traded. Then you had a lot of other guys out there going, no, he's not going to be moved. They're going to have to be blown away. They're not going to move him. And Jeff Passan was sitting there going, he is going to be moved. And it's going to be the SoCal. It's going to be either the Padres or the Dodgers. And boom, he goes to the Padres, as we already know. The only reason I bring that up is Jeff Passan is again right now saying, He's going to be traded. And he believes Yankee fans should be excited because it makes the most logical sense that he will go to the New York Yankees. You all know how long we've been waiting for this. If you guys follow me, I got videos going back to the Washington National days of Juan Soto coming to the New York Yankees. That's how long I've wanted this guy here. It just it's all the it makes all the perfect sense in the world. You guys are smart baseball fans. You know why? On-base percentage is so key, especially in front of Aaron Judge, and that's what's going to happen. Other good thing is, too, Juan Soto is going to be... See, if, he, if he is batting in front of Aaron Judge, meaning it's two Soto, three Judge, which it should be. Hopefully, the Yankees wouldn't mess that up. <laughs> he is going to be seeing so many fastballs down the Johnson you might see one of the best batting averages that Soto has ever had. You might see one of the best overall years that Soto has ever had. And again, you know, he has this unbelievable eye just to get on base. Um, Regarding another topic that I was going to make a separate video on, but I really don't think it's that big of a deal. Brian Cashman came out and spoke about... um, the comments he made about Giancarlo Stanton and that he did indeed speak with um, the agent of Stanton, Joel Wolf, and also Stanton himself. So I'm actually going to go ahead and throw that on here for you guys really quickly. Let's go ahead and get that played. I feel like... Uh, Put it back you, for uh, you guys and let's switch I over. I spoke to... Well, obviously, I, I feel like... Uh, Things got spun out of control with the coverage a week later. Um, so yeah, I obviously had a conversation with Joe Wolf, uh, who I've known a long time, and also our player Giancarlo Stanton. And uh, you know, I feel like everything's in a good spot. So 
guys, what did you mean by your remarks about John Carlos Stanton? That would you change anything today about the things you said? Well, I, I was surprised how it got twisted and turned and played out or what have you. I like I said what I said, and you know, but so that's why I certainly had the conversations. Uh, I value Giancarlo Stanton as a player, uh, without a doubt. You know, he's one of the big drivers of when we do win. He's one of the few players you bring to New York that hasn't backed down, um, that handled himself in a professional manner, you know, through thick and thin. Um, and uh, as I said, one of the few players that, will, like, when the money's on the line, you know, if you look at his postseason numbers, it's pretty impressive. So, so I'm just going to stop it right there real quick because – I think one of the not, nothing wrong here. So I'm not I'm not here to uh, you know beat up on Cashman here. But one of the funny comments, in my opinion, here is him going. You know, I don't know how many days later this kind of got blew up and blew out of proportion. And I said what I said. Well, I mean, you did say that part of his game is being injured. Now, again, truth or not, it is indeed. It's been fact. You know, it, it is kind of a random thing, again, to say for a general manager. And on top of that, what I think is worse, again, and this is something for the entire Yankee organization, is accountability across the board. You want to criticize a player, by all means, criticize a player. You want to tell a player, hey, look, man, we need you on the field more. Figure something out. We got to get it going. What's wrong? What's the problem? Figure that stuff out. But have it across the board. Again, I go back to Aaron Boone doing it with Peraza in spring training. I didn't like it. I thought it was completely uncalled for. Whether you want to, you know, say, hey, he looks terrible up there. He doesn't look good. That's fine. But you're also the dude that's sticking up for Josh Donaldson in the postseason when he was terrible. Well, he got on base a lot. But guys, I don't know what to tell you. Let, let, me, let me tell you something. You tell you as I tell them and them tell me. You, I'm telling you to tell me and to tell the world to hit that like and subscribe to NYYU. Forget that last part. Look, I'm not editing this. It's not coming out. I don't know what the hell that was. I was trying to tell you to tell me something, and I don't know how that would be possible right now. But anyway, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about Jeff Passan's comments regarding Juan Soto? Do you think, are you as confident as Jeff Passan is that Yankee fans should be excited? That Soto could indeed be a New York Yankee uh, before opening day. Tell you what, guys, it would change my perspective of this team if they follow the road path that I easily laid out for them months ago. It's as simple as, you know, getting it done. Simple as that. So, guys, I will see you all a little bit later tonight. Remember, just an update. All Rise this Monday will be pre-recorded. So I need you guys to throw your voicemails in on Sunday. I'll be recording that show on Sunday night with a regular drop time at 11 a.m. on Monday morning, but it will not be live. It will be a premiere, so everybody can hang out with us and go from there. But with that being said, guys, I am out. Have a great rest of your Friday. If anything happens, guys, we got you covered. Talk to you later. Peace, baby. I'm out. Can't make a promise, but I do my best. 25 sitting on 25 racks. Just got started, no, we ain't done yet. But a new crib, that's a goddamn flex. Goddamn flex. Sign that check. Told them last year that I've been up next. Can't take calls, but I send that text. From way downtown, but the shit's still wet.